boss, your executive assistant here. These are exciting times for the company, if you want to expand. Securo serves updated with an opportunity to source and resell high-value vehicles, and some garage space in the buildings become available on Dynasty 8. Stop by the office soon, and I'll show you. Boss, there's an update on Securo serve. This is big. They moved into vehicle cargo. Log into the terminal, and I'll talk you through it. Oh, hi. Okay, you logged on? The homepage should be showing you three options. Special cargo, vehicle cargo, and special vehicle work. Special cargo's as it was before, the standard SecuroServe contraband system. Vehicle cargo's their new offering. You purchase a vehicle warehouse, then SecuroServe puts you onto different cars in the area to source. Once you source the cars, you warehouse them and sell them onto a highly vetted customer base when you want to. Special vehicle works a little different. These are complex operations SecuroServe have planned and prepared for clients, using state-of-the-art customized vehicles. They trust only their best performers with these tasks, so we'll need to make some headway with vehicle cargo before taking this on. Vehicle cargo. Okay, if you want to start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. Okay, you've got some space. Now you can move cargo. Click on the green button, Source Vehicle, and we'll search the system for an appropriate car. Soon after that, the details will come through by text. Then it's just up to you to get the car and bring it to the warehouse. Be on the lookout for rival organizations trying to hijack your vehicles. And know that you can intercept organizations moving cars, too. Okay, the owner of this car is willing to give it to anyone who can beat his point-to-point -point personal best. Get out there, beat it. The car is ours. Oh, it's the boss. Okay, here's our new vehicle warehouse. Let me show you around. We're gonna store all our vehicle cargo here before selling it. We can fit 40 cars in here. We got a vending machine and some personal space back there for getting some shut-eye and changing your clothes. When you bring a car back, it'll get fixed up and listed on Ad Hoc's Autos. When you access the website from the laptop on the desk, You'll see your current stock of cars and be able to select how many you want to offload and to who. The amount you can sell at any one time is dependent on how many associates you got on hand. If we want to chase the bigger commissions, we're going to need to modify the cars to the bigger buyer specifications. Remove trackers, change paint jobs, rims, apply other mods. Different buyers got different requirements. The mechanic's on site to handle all that. It's an independent operator, so it costs to repair stolen cars that come in damaged, and to do the mods. But believe me, it makes life easy. And you see the door over there? That'll take you all the way down to the underground facility. You renovate it down there, so there's somewhere to store any of those big, unwieldy, modified vehicles off the Warstock site. Only place to accommodate anything from a huge phantom wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. And that's it. We should get to work. The more vehicle cargo we move, the more of an interest SecuroServe's gonna take in the company. We steal enough cars, they'll throw us some special vehicle work. Come by the office when you want to source that next car. See you, boss.
Okay, boss. You want to sell something? You're in the right place. We log everything that comes in on the site, so you can see what we got in the warehouse. Select a vehicle, and it goes up on the export list at the top of the page. You can sell up to four vehicles at a time if you've got the drivers here in the warehouse. When the cars you want to sell are selected, confirm, and the system will search available buyers. Here's the vehicle cargo summary page. It's a rundown of the organization's activities in the market. If you want to move to a warehouse in a different part of the city, click on the vehicle warehouse map link at the top of the page and you'll get a fair trade and price for your current property. And if you want to start sourcing vehicles, you click that green button there. What's up, pal? I take it this isn't purely... Better than when she came in, that's for sure.
There you go. We got three buyers. Pick who you like, but you should know that the bigger deal's got strings attached. They're gonna want you to do modifications up front. If you damage the car or lose it on the way to the sale, the money's gone. I'll do the modifications in-house, charge you a flat fee. It makes life simple for you and hard for me, but what else would you expect, right, boss? Make a call and we'll get on with it. Okay, let's get this ready. Buyer wants certain elements changed. Doesn't mind so much what they're changed to, and I've already quoted you a price. Select the mods they want stage by stage, and then hit complete when it's good. Work will be done on the spot. Sometimes you'll have to wait on other drivers being choosy, but you won't wait long. Look at me, Mama. Printing license plates for a living. We got to change up the paint job. I can still work a spray can. Performance mods are on the list. Install. They don't like the bodywork. Wouldn't recognize it. Wheels have got to go. Okay, after what we put into this one, we don't want it to go wrong. Take the car to the sale, and if another crew comes after it, do everything you can to stop them. Okay, we did it. That one's going on the balance sheet for next quarter.